so I decided to watch the Good Times cartoon series and be completely open, you know, leave all of my negative views behind, so on and so forth. And I must say, it could have been a bootleg masterpiece. I think if they would have leaned more into the drama side of things uh, and not just went all in on the racist stereotypes and trying to make it funny, they probably would have did much better, right? But it's it's almost like it was written by a conservative <laughs> that thinks these racist stereotypes are funny. I have no idea what they were thinking. You know, I, I feel like these comedians, the, the voice actors, and, you know, maybe I'm going to get in trouble for halfway taking up form. You know, as a comedian, there is a part of you that feels in, like you have a, an obligation to to push the envelope, to push things further, to be a little bit extreme sometimes. So I don't want to just hate them completely. I don't know what they were thinking, if they read the full script. Some people didn't read the full script, so I, I don't know. I'm honestly heavily disappointed because this this cartoon could have been much more. Like, it really kind of saw certain things about how how some black people do glamorize um, or idolize other people's opinions. You know, that is a big thing for some people in some groups. So they would go as far as sacrificing the things that they need in order to impress other people that is a legitimate thing that some have dealt with this this cartoon brings up how sometimes you know big business or uh you know different corporations will prey on minority communities will destroy their whole situation so that they can maintain quotas or uh maintain I mean, it this this cartoon really does dig into certain topics, but the execution was just so bad in a particular area that unfortunately nobody is really gonna want to watch it. Most people are gonna protest this show because it seems like it was at least partially written by a conservative or a person that likes racist stereotypes and thinks it's hilarious, <sighs> which is understandable, and we have to understand that people aren't going to vibe with that so i hope that maybe this inspires somebody else like myself uh to <laughs> to come up with a different uh cartoon that talks about some of the same things but isn't as racist i don't know it's got to be something out there boondock season five maybe i don't know anyway uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. This is just my personal opinion. I understand that many people don't want to see it. They feel some type of way. Uh, I was hesitant to watch it myself. But as a creative, I'm like, you know what? Let's see what they got. You know, I'm 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 not going to allow my negative emotions to stop me from seeing something that might be dope. <sighs> so in, in, in the end, I'm just kind of disappointed because it could have been better. But. I think some of the writing was just that they, they went too far into something that was highly destructive. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to express yourself by the many means available on this page. Um, if you have seen it, let me know. Uh, I, I actually got inspired to watch it because somebody else mentioned it. And I was like, what? <laughs> they did that in the first two minutes. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but it, it was bad and good at times. It wasn't super funny. And that's, that also kind of bugged. It's like the jokes were, it was, it was just too stereotypical for me. It, just, it made me cringe at times. Now, sometimes it was funny, but other times it was like, Ugh, uh, uh, oh, why, why would you do that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. All right. <laughs>